Hello Gemini, welcome to a bonus love reading. We're gonna be looking at how your person is currently thinking, feeling about you. What are their energies towards you? So we're gonna jump right in because this is a bonus reading, so it's meant to be short and sweet. Spirits, angels, guys, can we get some guidance, insight please for Gemini regarding the person they are thinking about or connecting with at this time? What is this person thinking, feeling when it comes to Gemini or this connection? I'm gonna grab one from my stellar soulmate deck here. What does Gemini need to know about this person? Or what, is, what do we need to know about this person's thoughts, feelings towards you? I am willing to do anything for us to be together. This is someone focused, um, dedicated. I can't see myself with anyone else but you, bottom of the deck. What else do we need to know about this person? We're also gonna be looking at their, uh, when we look at the tarot, their next actions, true intentions towards you as well. What do we need to know about this person's thoughts, feelings, energies towards Gemini? What do we need to know? Wow, second chances and budding romance. Well, that's pretty clear. This is somebody that wants to try again or wants a second chance with you. To start over, bottom of the deck, restore balance. Yeah. What else? What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know for Gemini? This is from my Secret Moon Oracle deck. It's actually two decks combined, but what do we need to know for Gemini? What do we need to know about this person's thoughts, feelings for Gemini? I'm afraid. Can I get one more? What do we need to know about this person's thoughts, feelings, intentions towards Gemini? I made a mistake. Okay, so this person is somebody that perhaps did you wrong, Gemini. Perhaps they played you. Perhaps they screwed up somewhere in the past. And they want a second chance with you. That's pretty clear here. So let's get some more insight with the tarot. Spirits, angels, guides. Can you give us some guidance, please, regarding this person that Gemini is thinking about or connecting with at this time? What do we need to know about their feelings, actions, intentions towards Gemini? Okay, let's see what we got. So what they're feeling currently, the hangman reverse and the two of swords, their true intentions towards you, eight of cups and three of pentacles and their next actions, justice and seven of cups. Okay, deeper energy here with justice. Um, I feel like this is somebody who, um, in terms of their true intentions, I feel like they wanna head towards you with the Eight of Cups in order to build again. Um, they might be leaving something behind, um, another situation, making a move of some sort, a physical move. And the goal is to build something new, to work together, to collaborate with the Three of Pentacles. This person could also be making a move regarding work, you know, like a their job takes them somewhere that is closer to you or something like that. Now, Justice is here with the Seven of Cups. This is their next action. So it's like this person is really thinking about how to have justice, how to make things right. That's really their only goal. This is a very simple reading. The energy is very clear, Gemini, um, that this is somebody that's trying to figure out what's the best course of action, what's the best way to ensure that I am able to restore balance with Gemini. And in how they're feeling, I feel like this person is very stuck with the Two of Swords and the Hangman Reverse. Um, it's funny because the Hangman Reverse is really a card about maybe not being stuck, not being tied up anymore. Um, but the Two of Swords is here, which is a card about not knowing what to do. So I think this is this I'm afraid energy. I think this person is afraid of being rejected by you or afraid of not being successful. Um, maybe they are afraid of how or, or afraid because they don't know how to approach you, basically. Let me get one more place, one more clarity for Gemini. Tell me about this uh, Two of Swords. I want to know what the decision is that they're thinking about. I, I mean, I have a feeling I know what it is, but can I get some insight, please, for the Two of Swords? What do we need to know? Please ignore my dog in the background. 
What do we need to know about this Two of Swords? Leon. Yeah, Four of Pentacles reverse. This person, I feel they would need to open up to you. Bottom of the deck is the Death card. Scorpio energy. I think this person would need to open up to you, maybe regarding an ending that happened between you and them or an ending that happened in their life. The Four of Pentacles reverse is like someone is no longer holding tightly to something. Someone is um, open to um, opening up in a way, not so guarded. Holding, but not no longer holding back, you know. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. Why is the Eight of Cups here? What can you tell us about the Eight of Cups? The Empress Reverse. Yep, nothing grew where they were. They could be leaving a feminine energy that's very upset that they're gone. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. The Empress Reverse, yeah, Queen of Swords Reverse. They're, they're, they're leaving someone behind. And that person is not happy. Uh, three of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like they're, they, there's a lot of pain here. A lot of heartache. A lot of difficulty. They're walking away from someone. This could also... It doesn't have to be a partner. It could be a family member. It could be a boss. So what do we need to know about Justice and the Seven of Cups? What do we need to know about Justice and the Seven of Cups? Ten of Wands reverse, yeah. No longer um, feeling um, bogged down or weighed down by something, dropping a burden, letting go of some sort of difficulty or burden they were carrying. I think this person is going to open their soul up to you or open up to you, bear themselves to you this one yeah eight of pentacles and i think they're doing that because they want to prove to you that they're willing to do what it takes um willing to work on things willing to put in the effort um the energy required to fix things to improve things to heal things bottom of the deck is the queen of cups i think this is how they see you um you are the person that I don't know, they're picturing you as someone very nurturing, someone very um, loving. So this person could have been someone that you really um, I feel like this person, you treated them differently than others. Um, maybe you gave more of yourself than you normally do, Gemini. Or maybe you were very open with this person. Something like that. And I think they they that's part of the reason that they feel they screwed up so much and that they made such a big mistake because they hurt you in the process and you didn't deserve it or they knew that that was wrong you know can i get one more for this empress reverse and the queen of swords reverse can i get one more for the empress reverse and the queen of swords reverse Two of Cups. Now, wow, and then there's the King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Wow. I think this person is leaving a situation or a difficult person because they're going after who they feel they should be with. The person that matches them, that loves them equally, mirrors them. I mean, this is like soulmate energy with the Two of Cups, but tied up with the King of Cups is almost like they're willing to give emotionally to the person they feel that matches them. Like, I just keep getting that. It's almost like they see themselves in you or vice versa. I don't know. You had a very strong connection with this person. And I, I'm almost wondering why they screwed it up so badly if it was what, if it was as special as it was, you know? I don't know, this person's really beating themselves up. I, I'm also getting like an energy of like, they would be willing to do literally whatever it takes. Beg, <laughs> do whatever it takes to make things right. Um, and I think they're gonna be very open with you. I made a mistake, I really screwed up. Um, I should have never let you go. I'm, you know, that kind of energy is what I'm picking up here. 
let's get a stellar guidance oracle to wrap this up any guidance messages for gemini any guidance messages advice for gemini any guidance messages advice for gemini spirit what does gemini need to know any guidance messages advice for gemini be careful and take a risk okay so completely two different energies release the past at the bottom of the deck and forgive after that with go for it so i think a lot of you it's going to be kind of um I think when this person does show up, you're going to have your guard up. I think you're going to be slow to trust this person, slow to, um, you know, even listen to them. But I think part of you is willing to give it another go um, because someone has released the past. And so I feel like since they're coming to you in this with this energy of true repentance, <laughs> I think that you you will be willing to forgive them. So that's what I have for you, Gemini, for this bonus reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. And hopefully I will be seeing you all in another video very soon. Take care.